I can't believe it's been so long since I've done a YouTube video. So we're back at it. I'm going to start making more of these. It's going to be start becoming more of a common occurrence uh, as far as my media and that. So as you see, now we got merch available. So update. This year has, I'm not going to get emotional about this, but this year has been very difficult. That That's the word I'll use to describe it as difficult. Um, I've thought about making this video for a long period of time, but I never really thought too much about how to start it. Um, just, I knew what the content I wanted to give you guys and what the ending of this video I wanted to be. So update on the program. We'll start there. Um, the Avant is no longer with me. The black Avant, the VR six parts are no longer with me. Uh, for the most part, I've hung on to some of them. A lot of the sponsored stuff that I've gotten. A lot of the stuff that I paid out of pocket for are either still for sale or being sold. Um, VR6. Stop at Malacca Motorsports was hugely instrumental in getting me to uh, run that powertrain. I do love that powertrain. I think they make monster power. They are super reliable. I love the simplistic design. But I really... In everything else that I'm about to talk about, I really started looking over that with a fine tooth comb because I didn't want to make a mistake. Um, I feel that that power plant is not a good power plant for drifting only because I've seen every dyno graph showing a huge peak in power and not much flat line torque, not much response. It's just very peaky power. Huge power nonetheless, but very peaky power. So um, I decided that probably wasn't going to be the best drivetrain for my personal driving style. I like something a lot more responsive, big V8 torquey feeling, uh, but obviously wanted to keep a VAG slash Audi motor uh, in whatever car that I was going to continue to build. So the Avant was obviously cool. We talked about four seat, all of that stuff. Uh, it just came down to the matter of getting a car on track and being at the events that I told my sponsors and I told you guys I was going to be at. And honestly, the ones that I really wanted to drive, the most fun and enjoying events. So to talk about why that happened, um, my wife and I went through a uh, miscarriage early in the year. So right after getting, um, let's see, after getting the S4. So once I purchased the S4, it was almost immediately after, um, we found out she was pregnant. So we started making adjustments and changes to our lifestyle and plans for this year to accommodate, obviously, bringing a child in. Uh, we were supposed to have him or her uh, around grid life of this year. So even grid life was like kind of talked about of maybe not making it because of having a newborn. It was just, it was a lot. So that on top of, um, I mean, we lost a dog very shortly after uh, that I haven't really talked about at all. Um, she lost her amazing amazing grandmother um very shortly after the miscarriage it was just a it was a big pile of things happening um my employment at az euros at the time was just we were growing so fast we went from having you know three to four techs to eight techs uh, parts department um media all of that stuff it was very time consuming very stressful uh and i just wasn't working on the car like we went into summertime and summertime here in arizona you can have air temperatures of 120 degrees, 114 degrees. It's very hard to strip a car apart, to build an interior, to weld the cage, to do a lot of fabrication. Obviously doing something that was zero bolt-on parts available for basically what I was doing aside from the suspension for the most part. So it was a lot. Um, and honestly, it just got me into a deep rut of trying to take on more and more and more to make sponsors happy and to basically have media content, but it wasn't what I was wanting to do. It was just trying to like boast that like, I would get to that point. Um, so I made the very personally, uh, it's very easy for you guys in, in YouTube world and you know, everybody looking the outside, well, oh, just snap your fingers and try something new or make a different direction. It was very hard for me to suck up my pride and basically say, I'm going to fail at this and I'm gonna change direction in a path that I know I can get a car on track, that I can be in front of people, that I can produce media and build a new foundation off of um, the B5 is no longer with me. We'll talk about that real quickly. So um, I'm basically out of a two-car garage now. Uh, AZ Euros, I am no longer with them. Um, that was a slippery slope downhill when it came to the racing. They were huge about it when Christian and Chad owned the business. The new owner came in and just did not see 
a reason to keep continuing to sponsor the car, keep continuing to allow me to work on the car in the shop. So it, that was a very slow process. It wasn't just a, you know, come in and shut things off. So uh, that was also difficult going from having, you know, AZ Euros is beautiful facility to, and big facility uh, to a two car garage. So I needed to retool. I needed to make sure that I had the equipment stuff here that I needed to build a car period in any way, shape or form. Uh, so I started working on the garage, started getting frustrated that, you know, I was confined by a two car garage. I didn't have space to lay everything out and then have space to, um, you know, plan ahead basically. So that became very difficult also. Um, but that was the direction that I basically changed and going with the S4. So ECS tuning had saw that I was doing a bunch of obviously drifting rear wheel drive stuff with Audis. Uh, had the the wagon and the VR6 project they reached out and said hey do you have a B8 S4 um, and at the time I obviously did not but having access to the auctions and that at AZ Euros I hopped on there and within three days we had a car being shipped to us uh, or to myself through AZ Euros for the rear wheel drive kit that ECS was prototyping so we put the kit on that same weekend we went and tested the car you can follow my social media on uh, IG and follow the like quick build process um, every time that I did something to the car or the whole receiving of the car, all of that stuff, the idea was to kick off this, this YouTube series or get YouTube fire back up. Um, but again, every direction that I was being pulled in, whether it was trying to build a team behind the scenes, you know, make sure that I have a media person there, make sure that I have guys that are willing to help me load the car and help me get to the track and all of that stuff so that I could do media so that I can... Uh, you know, talk to fans and, and sign autographs and stuff when I'm at events, uh, instead of, you know, focusing on the car, working on the car, all that behind the scenes stuff was just, it was too much. And it just wasn't happening. Either the car wasn't getting built. I wasn't attending events. I wasn't doing media. I wasn't doing well at work. All that was combination of basically, um, just too much on my plate. So AZ Euros made the decision, um, you know, fast forward, this has been a few months now, but um, recently AZ Euros made the decision to no longer employ me because I was too focused on the racing and the, what I'm speaking about this is, and what you'll find in this video is focusing on building the car, focusing on going to grid life and focusing on what's next as far as the car, the program and all that stuff. My goal is not to retire and make a million dollars off of this. I don't want to be uh, YouTube star that, you know, buys all these cars and does all these builds and stuff just because it's attention or it's media. I just want to be able to go racing and to reach out to you guys as fans and ultimately put you guys in the car. That's my biggest goal is have you guys sit in the car, have you guys potentially drive the car, have you guys more involved or feel more involved in the process um, so that ultimately you start building your own car. Um, that's my goal is just to get more Audis and more drift cars, uh, out and present and driving, especially here local in Arizona. So yeah, they didn't feel that that was aligning with their business plan. Um, I was quite blindsided by it. I came back from grid life. Um, the, you know, there was great talks. They let me borrow the trailer. Everything was great. Um, but yeah, I came back from grid life and they're just like, well, you're too focused on racing. We don't think you're focused on the business and you know, we need to go to a different direction. So that was a big blow. Uh, it's been difficult, you know, wrapping my head around not having a nine to five job because I've had it since I was 14, 15 years old, you know, still in high school. I worked every day after work. Um, but this talking with my wife and everything that we've been through this year, this is my opportunity to grow. So I am, as you see, my like no longer talking about the bad stuff this year. I'm all talking about the good stuff and the huge smile on my face. So we are, myself, I should say, and my great, amazing team are gonna really, really focus on media, YouTube, and getting you guys more behind the scenes access to what it takes to build this and race this. Um, and with that, obviously, is going to be a lot of struggles and a lot of growth. So I'm excited to announce basically the start of the build series for the V8 S4 drift car. Um, obviously it was kind of tried and true as far as sliding around and rear wheel drive and all that stuff. We put 2000 miles on the ECS kit, street driving it before we pulled it off the street. Um, well, pulled it off street, it is still street legal, but it mostly sits in the garage or on a trailer or on a racetrack. So here it is. This is the first part. Um, I tried to edit a video that was going to be 
really, really long. So this is the start of the build series. Uh, and this is basically the build or the rush up until grid life. And then we'll knock it off from there um, to be behind the scenes for you guys. This video is being created right after Big SoCal. So there's three events under under our belt so far and we got media for so we can start rapid firing some videos and some exciting events coming up. So keep following along, like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. Okay, and uh, Cut the bill off your liquid molly hat. Like that it. way when you're working under the car, uh, the bill doesn't get caught on working on the car, but your hair stays back and out of your face. So, all right, update on the Got all the maintenance pretty much knocked out. Carbon cleaning, new injector serviced by AUS injection, new PCV valve, water pump thermostat, pulleys, all the fun stuff, coolant pipe, all that. Uh, waiting on vast performance on the supercharger port job. Pardon the mess here is what happens when you're working out of a two car garage on a bit of time frame so I got the interior mostly tore apart got the re steering wheel adapter on that's gonna work out slick door panel all stripped off let's go look at the so this is the state of the car right now kind of a mess but just getting everything tore apart the daily got the s4 interior Door panels and all. Front and rear seats are just folded down. These are the parts of the build I feel like nobody talks about it. It's all the time and energy, sweat, and busted up fingers and that goes into just ripping these cars apart. I mean, there's so much work involved in pulling one of these modern cars down to basically the bare chassis. It's all burned in. Well, it's came out really good. So a big focus on this stage of the build is heat. So we're going to manage heat by divorcing the intercooler system, running three coolant pumps, one for each intercooler, and then the factory pump to circulate the coolant out of the supercharger and back to the front heat exchanger. This proved to be extremely, extremely successful in testing. Each intercooler has its own coolant path in and out using Velocity AP's individual fittings. I also took this opportunity to delete secondary air, delete the heater system, and basically everything under the manifold aside from the intake manifold flaps. We also did some exhaust upgrades here. ECS downpipes to a two into one with a custom oval rear exhaust with a dump at the rear axle. Uh, 034's oil cap is on, brand new. We got the VAS Performance AZ valve covers, ported blower, all coated, looking good. Unfortunately, I did scratch the uh, super duper inlet, kind of, I'm actually super, super bummed about that, but I'm in a time crunch, so we got to get it done for grid life. And then Utah, so bleeders on the heat exchanger, bleeders on the intercoolers, just need to get some fittings in that to make that all work. But yeah, successful day, just a lot of fabrication in that, so just didn't move as fast as I wanted to. So tomorrow we're gonna finalize plumbing, get the car started, finish the interior, I gotta do the rear coilovers, and then pretty much put the car back together and hopefully we can go testing on Monday. But I am pumped. That's the down and dirty, literally just freaking filthy, dirty, sweaty. Shout out to Yellow Speed but Racing we're going to get it done and we're going to make grid life. Coilovers. The adjustability on these things are insane and really help dial in the car. Hey guys, if I'm talking too much, let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, Mullet Sport. All right, here goes nothing. Legit first start. It might run rough because I haven't loaded the new 034 tune without great fuel pump.
say that deserves a cold one. Quick map update on 034's Dynamic Plus for E40 fuel. Alright guys, back wrapping up the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, please let me know in the comments if just I'm talking too much, if this doesn't make any sense to you, if the VR6 is the way to go, uh, what you guys think. But I have some exciting plans, some exciting builds and stuff coming up. I will tease them, but I am not going to commit to any of them until they start getting built and I can actually promise and give you guys what I'm telling you I'm gonna give you. So we have some events in that coming up. Uh, some media and that with some other uh, YouTubers slash social media creators and all that stuff. So uh, keep following along. We'll get you the grid life uh, videos of it actually on track, burning tires and just, oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. I can't wait for you guys to see it. But uh, until the next video, thank you guys so much for your support and your belief in me. I will keep knocking it out for you.